A1 Movers 3 Published by Cambridge University Press and Uckles, 2019 This recording is copyright CD2 Test 3 Hello, this is the Cambridge Assessment English Movers Listening Test Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, Mr. Hyde. This is a picture of my friends. We went for a picnic on the weekend. It looks fun. Who's that girl? The one who's climbing the tree. Oh. That's Daisy. She likes climbing trees. She looks very happy. Yes, she was. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. What's that boy doing? The boy with the pirate hat. Oh, that's Jim. I think he's playing a game. Look, he's got a parrot, too. I know. It's very funny. Two. There's my friend Charlie. He's sitting on the blanket. I see. What's he reading? It's his favorite comic book. Has he got a lot of them? Yes, he has. In his bedroom. Three. And who's that girl there? She's playing with the rabbits. That's Claire. She's my best friend. Does she like animals? Yes, she does. She's got a pet rabbit at home, too. Cool. Four. What's that boy doing? Do you mean Fred? He's making sandwiches. He's got lots of bread. Did everyone eat them? Yes, we did. They were good. Five. Look, there's Jane. Can you see her? She's got a dolphin. I think she wants it to swim in the river. Yes, she does. But it can't. It's a toy. I like it. Well, thank you for showing me your picture. It's great. Now listen to part one again. One. What's that boy doing? The boy with the pirate hat. Oh, that's Jim. I think he's playing a game. Look, he's got a parrot too. I know, it's very funny. Two. There's my friend Charlie. He's sitting on the blanket. I see. What's he reading? It's his favorite comic book. Has he got a lot of them? Yes, he has. In his bedroom. Three. And who's that girl there? She's playing with the rabbits. That's Claire. 
She's my best friend. Does she like animals? Yes, she does. She's got a pet rabbit at home, too. Cool. Four. What's that boy doing? Do you mean Fred? He's making sandwiches. He's got lots of bread. Did everyone eat them? Yes, we did. They were good. Five. Look, there's Jane. Can you see her? She's got a dolphin. I think she wants it to swim in the river. Yes, she does. But it can't. It's a toy. I like it. Well, thank you for showing me your picture. It's great. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen. And look, there is one example. Here we are at the farm, children. Isn't it exciting? Yes, Mrs. Park. What can we see here? We can see lots of different animals. Has the farm got a name? Yes, it's called Forest Farm. Forest Farm? Cool. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Why does the farmer drive a tractor, Mrs. Park? Well, he goes on it to see the animals. We'd like to ride on the tractor with him. Can we do that? Sorry, you can't do that. But you can watch the farmer. Oh, OK. Two. Can we feed the animals at this farm, Mrs. Park? You can't feed the cows. They only eat grass. Can we feed the horses? Yes, you can. The farmer has the right food for the horses. Brilliant! Three. Listen, children. There's a new animal at the farm. What is it? It's a black puppy. It's called Foggy. Foggy? How do you spell that? It's F-O-G-G-Y. Four. Where can we eat our picnic? Can we eat it in the farmer's house? No, but look, there's a nice field. We can eat it in that field. Oh no, I didn't bring my picnic. It's OK. We can all give you something to eat. Thanks, everyone. Five. There's a lake near the farm. Can we go for a walk around it? Yes, we can. Shall I take a photo of our class at the lake? That's a good idea. Let's go there now. Now listen to part two again. One. Why does the farmer drive a tractor, Mrs. Park? Well, he goes on it to see the animals. We'd like to ride on the tractor with him. Can we do that? Sorry, you can't do that. But you can watch the farmer. Oh, OK. Two. Can we feed the animals at this farm, Mrs. Park? You can't feed the cows. They only eat grass. Can we feed the horses? Yes, you can. The farmer has the right food for the horses. Brilliant! Three.
three. Listen, children. There's a new animal at the farm. What is it? It's a black puppy. It's called Foggy. Foggy. How do you spell that? It's F O G G Y. Four. Where can we eat our picnic? Can we eat it in the farmer's house? No, but look, there's a nice field. We can eat it in that field. Oh no, I didn't bring my picnic. It's okay. We can all give you something to eat. Thanks, everyone. Five. There's a lake near the farm. Can we go for a walk around it? Yes, we can. Shall I take a photo of our class at the lake? That's a good idea. Let's go there now. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Peter is helping his mum in the kitchen. Where does his mum want Peter to put each of these things? What have you got there, Peter? It's the cheese. Where shall I put it? Can you put it on that plate, please? Yes, mum. There you are. Thanks. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Where did I put the coffee? It's here. What do you want me to do with it? Put it next to the cups. Dad always wants some when he comes home. I know he does every day. Have you got the pasta? Yes, here it is. Can we cook it now? No, it's for Mrs. Brown. You can put it in this shopping bag for her. We can take it to her this afternoon. Okay, Mom. I like Mrs. Brown. So do I. Do you want these vegetables for lunch? No, thank you. They need to go there, next to the bottles. Can you do that for me, Peter? Yes, I can. Great. We can have those for dinner. What's this, Mom? It's sauce, Peter. It's got tomatoes in it. Oh, what can I do with it? Can I put it in that box? No, don't put it there. Put it in the cupboard. All right. It's there now. Great. Thank you. Are you hungry, Peter? Yes, I am. I'd like to have the soup for lunch. Okay, let's do that. Put it next to the bowls now. Great. Can I have a glass of water now? I'm tired and thirsty. Yes, you can. Thanks for helping me. Now listen to part three again. Where did I put the coffee? It's here. What do you want me to do with it? Put it next to the cups. Dad always wants some when he comes home. I know he does every day. Have you got the pasta? Yes, here it is. Can we cook it now? No, it's for Mrs. Brown. You can put it in this shopping bag for her. We can take it to her this afternoon. Okay, Mom. I like Mrs. Brown. So do I. Do you want these vegetables for lunch? No, thank you. They need to go there, next to the bottles. Can you do that for me, Peter? Yes, I can. Great. 
We can have those for dinner. What's this, Mom? It's sauce, Peter. It's got tomatoes in it. Oh, what can I do with it? Can I put it in that box? No, don't put it there. Put it in the cupboard. All right. It's there now. Great. Thank you. Are you hungry, Peter? Yes, I am. I'd like to have the soup for lunch. Okay. Let's do that. Put it next to the bowls now. Great. Can I have a glass of water now? I'm tired and thirsty. Yes, you can. Thanks for helping me. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What was the weather like in the mountains? I went to my cousin's house in the mountains at the weekend. What was the weather like there? Did it rain? No, it didn't. But it was cloudy. We didn't see the sun all weekend. Well, it was like that here too. Can you see the tick? Now you listen. And tick the box. One. What is the boy's sister doing now? Who's the girl who's riding the bike? Is it your sister? No, that's my friend Vicky. My sister's inside. She's doing her homework. Oh. Where are you going now? I'm going to the swimming pool. Why don't you come with me? Okay. Two. What did the girl like best in the countryside? Did you have fun in the countryside? Yes, Dad. We saw a huge waterfall. I've got a photo of it on my phone. Look. That's fantastic. Did you see more things? Yes, we saw lots of plants. Oh, and the most exciting thing that we saw was a big rock. It was a funny shape, like a person. Really, that's funny. Three. What must the boy put in his bag now? Are you going to your friend's house to sleep now? Yes, Mom. You must take your toothbrush. Yes, I've got it. It's in my bag. Is there some toothpaste I can take? Yes, there's some in the bathroom. Take that. Okay. And there's a towel in my bag too. Don't worry, Mom. Four. Where does the boy live? Does your family have a flat in the city? No, we don't. We live in a village. Our house isn't very big, but I've got a great bedroom with a balcony. I can see the sea from there. I'd like to live on a boat. Me too. Five. What is May good at? What sports are you good at, May? Well, I can run quickly. My brother's really good at tennis, but I'm not. Do you like dancing? Yes, but I'm terrible at it. Now listen to part four again. One. What is the boy's sister doing now? Who's the girl who's riding the bike? Is it your sister? No, that's my friend Vicky. My sister's inside. She's doing her homework. Oh.
Where are you going now? I'm going to the swimming pool. Why don't you come with me? Okay. Two. What did the girl like best in the countryside? Did you have fun in the countryside? Yes, Dad. We saw a huge waterfall. I've got a photo of it on my phone. Look. That's fantastic. Did you see more things? Yes, we saw lots of plants. Oh, and the most exciting thing that we saw was a big rock. It was a funny shape, like a person. Really, that's funny. Three. What must the boy put in his bag now? Are you going to your friend's house to sleep now? Yes, Mom. You must take your toothbrush. Yes, I've got it. It's in my bag. Is there some toothpaste I can take? Yes, there's some in the bathroom. Take that. Okay. And there's a towel in my bag too. Don't worry, Mom. Four. Where does the boy live? Does your family have a flat in the city? No, we don't. We live in a village. Our house isn't very big, but I've got a great bedroom with a balcony. I can see the sea from there. I'd like to live on a boat. Me too. Five. What is May good at? What sports are you good at, May? Well, I can run quickly. My brother's really good at tennis, but I'm not. Do you like dancing? Yes, but I'm terrible at it. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can I colour this picture of the film star? Yes. Do you think she's famous? Yes. I think she's in a new film. She's got beautiful curly hair. Can I colour it? Yes, you can. Colour it brown for me. Okay. I'm doing that now. Can you see the film star's brown hair? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. There are people taking photos of the film star. Yes, they've got big cameras. Can you see the man in the scarf? Yes, I can. It's very long. I'd like to colour that. What colour would you like to do it? How about grey? Yes, that's a good colour. Do that. Two. Lots of people are looking at the film star. Yes, they're all watching her. She's going into the cinema. It's a huge cinema. What is it called? It's called Circle Cinema. Write circle before the word cinema. Okay. Three. Can you see the girl who's taking a photo on her phone? I love her coat. Do you want to colour that? Yes. Can I do it pink? How about red? That's my favourite colour. All right. Look.
four. Who's that man in the car? I think it's the film star's driver. Oh, he's wearing a cap. Yes, he is. Shall I colour it purple? Can you colour it blue? That's a good colour. Okay, there. Five. What's that poster on the wall? I think it's about the film. Do you want to colour the ice skates? Yes, I'd like to do those yellow. Is that okay? Yes. I'm colouring those now. Great. The picture looks fantastic.